My name is Paul Godbold and I'm the owner of Luxurious Magazine. We're here to have a look at all the wonderful options that are available on this beautiful 300 acre private island just off the west coast of Malaysia. Now, during our stay, we're going to be using one of the wonderful private estates. We're going to be following in the footsteps of Luciano Pavarotti by staying in the Pavarotti suite. We're going to be trying one of the sea villas, beautiful stilted properties, detached, set out in the beautiful Emerald Sea. And we're going to stay in the biggest of the lot, which is the Surya suite. The Pankor Laut Terminal is a wonderful place to start or end your journey. Relax in the modern air-conditioned lounge with a refreshing drink while you wait for your transport to take you to the island or before you embark on your journey home. There's a few ways to get to Pankor Laut. It depends really on where you're going to be staying. If you're going to stay on Pankor Laut Resort, the usual method of transport will be these very nice new speedboats. However, if you're going to stay on the estates at Pankor Laut, then you're going to be travelling in a slightly different way. For those of you that are lucky enough to have an estate on Pankor Laut, you'll be travelling via this, the 65-foot Lady Yacht. For most people that are arriving at Pankor Lout Resort, you'll be coming via the jetty. This jetty here leads you into the main resort reception and from here you'll be able to go to the accommodation of your choosing. The estates on Pankor Lout are perfect for those looking for a luxurious private vacation. We talked to the estates manager Kenny Knickerbocker and asked him to describe what's in store for us. When it comes to what guests can expect from their stay at the estates, it all starts with a private yacht transfer from our welcome office at Marina Island to the resort. Should you have your own private uh, yacht or uh, helicopter that you wish to take to the estates, we can accommodate those transfers as well. Upon arrival at the resort, you'll be escorted to your personal estate via your private car. Uh, you'll have your two estate attendants as well as a private chef who will cater to all of your culinary desires. There are eight secluded estates to choose from, four resting on the beautiful waterfront of Marina Bay, allowing visitors the pleasure of a private beach, whilst the others are set into the jungle on the hillside overlooking the ocean. When it comes to the differences between the resort and the estates here at Pankor Lao, our main focus is on privacy and personalized service. We stayed in one of the beachfront estates, making time to swim in the sea in infinity pool, or just lounging about in one of the two jacuzzis. The beach and surrounding jungle highlighted the stunning location we found ourselves in. The sound from the local wildlife, attentive staff and general layout of the estate made us feel that we were somewhere very special. One of the most magical ingredients to any luxury holiday is the food. 
And this is where Pancor Lattice Stakes doesn't disappoint. During our stay, we asked Mohammed El Saya, the resort's manager, what makes Pankor Lout so popular. Uh, it's not only the uh, concept of one island, one resort. That was actually in the past. Today, this is complemented with the service. Because, for example, water is water. It is the same water like everywhere in the world. But the way we offer it here in Banco Lard Resort is different. And that's the human touch now is very important in the hospitality service industry. And for everybody coming to Pankol Out, what is the must try thing? Uh, beside Emerald Bay, the spa. The spa is a must. Uh, I think it is a paradise within the paradise. Uh, award-winning, nominated to be one of the best in the world many times, and that's a fact. So I think this is one of the areas that you shouldn't miss by all means. So with Mr. Mohammed's recommendation in mind, it was off to find out what treatments were available from spa manager Jenny Cho. Yeah, we have a pavilion. Each pavilion can uh, uh, accommodate two, two guests. And uh, we have uh, one billion is uh, considered like uh, those that have a couple spa, we will suggest in a billion room. And uh, we have a spa hut, so spa hut uh, usually we can perform like Thai massage, so, uh, siashu or foot massage. Especially for the environment, we can uh, adapt, uh, we can uh, enjoy the nature environment here. Okay, we have Ayurvedic hut and Malay and Chinese hut. Um, and also the casino for the relaxation. If you're not quite ready for a bout of sublime relaxation in the spa village, you can always try something a little more strenuous such as the gym. Or, the Water Activity Centre has a wide range of fun options, including canoeing. And for after a session at the spa, what about making the day even more relaxing with a sunset cruise around the island? The Pavarotti Suite at Pankor Lout is the largest of all the properties on Pankor Lout Resort. It's essentially a detached villa, two storeys, with twin double bedrooms, an enormous bath, a bath fit for one of the world's greatest ever tenants. Dining room, separate TV room. Let's show you a little bit more. The spacious accommodation aside, probably the most outstanding aspect of the Pavarotti suite is the incredible panorama. The view across to Pankor Island is stunning. The shimmering of the light on the sea creates the perfect opportunity for early birds to get up and witness nature's beauty. There is a wide variety of accommodation for you to choose from at Pankor Lout Resort. To start, we'll look at the landed properties. 
These consist of the hill, garden and beach villas. The hill villas are situated on the hillside amidst the rainforest with views of the sea and the resort gardens. The garden villas are housed within two storey units, ground floor having a huge bathtub and a private courtyard. The beach villas have a great view of the sea, large bathroom with separate shower and a huge bathtub in a private outdoor courtyard. The most iconic of the accommodation are the sea villas set upon stilts out in the sea. The largest of the sea villas are the Surya and Panama suites. We stayed in the Surya suite, located opposite the Royal Bay Beach Club. With spacious accommodation, luxurious fixtures and fittings, multiple balconies and wonderful touches such as a viewing hatch in the bathroom looking down upon the sea. This is our favourite place to stay at Pankor Lout Resort. All of the villas are linked by sturdy wooden walkways with covered seating areas along the way to shield you from any unexpected rain. Finally, for those wanting even more privacy, you need look no further than the spa villas. Similar in size and layout to the sea villas, the spa villas are set away from the rest of the properties. As the name suggests, the spa villas are located close to the spa village and have some extra benefits such as the use of the spa's wonderful infinity pool, golden beach and the lounge area in front of the Jammu Bar. Let us take you on a short tour of some of the places to eat at Pankor Lout Resort. The first place on the agenda is Feast Village, located next to the main resort reception. Feast Village is the largest and most popular place for guests to eat, offering an interactive dining experience with a wide range of food choices from around the world. You can watch as your meal is prepared in front of you, wander around the different culinary stations until you find the ideal food to suit your appetite. Feast Village also has a patisserie, a cafe, a chef's table and a wine cellar. From Feast Village, walk past the reception area along the waterfront and you'll come to the Royal Bay Beach Club, serving Asian and Western food for lunch and then transforming itself into a trendy lounge for the evening. It's easy to find as it's adjacent to the main infinity pool. The popular Uncle Lim's Kitchen can be found at the end of the walkway past the sea villas with a wide selection of Chinese food for you to sample. For fine dining and the most exquisite food, you'll need to book a table at Fisherman's Cove directly on the waterfront. It's located close to the spa village. Jammu Bar can be found at Spa Village, serving Japanese and healthy cuisine. It also does intimate private dinners. One of the things that YTL does extremely well is offer the most incredible and romantic dining experiences. Whether it's a dining experience up a mountain on a tea plantation, or a beautiful dining experience on a private island, on the beachfront, lobster freshly cooked and served for you. It's something that everybody should experience at some stage. Private dining on the Emerald Bay on Pankor Lout surely must rank as one of the most outstanding ways to have that beautiful, perfect and memorable dining experience. One of the must-try activities is a walk in the rainforest with the resident naturalist Shadan. We asked him what brought you to Pankor Lout. Okay, so I started work here in this uh, island, in this resort, since 2007 until 2009. Okay, and then I left. Uh, I worked for the Department of Wildlife and National Parks of Malaysia. I was uh, been put in charge in this uh, Malayan Tiger Conservation Project. And after being in the national parks for quite some time, looking for tigers, been working for the department for three years, I can't really stay in the departments because this island 
Mereka misteriously kept calling me to come back and here I am. I just got back here on this island this year, March. The average rainforest walk lasts between 30 and 45 minutes depending on the speed of your party. While discussing the wildlife here, Shadan told us about some previous visitors to the island. Rare visitors to this island, if you are lucky, you can see them. They are the green turtles, okay, the marine turtles, they are here. And back in 2003, we have one green turtle landed here on this island and laid the eggs, 65 eggs, 46 of them hatch. We release all these hatchlings back to the sea and these hatchlings, when they are matured, they'll come back to the very same island, to the very same beach to lay their eggs. It's not just the wildlife on the island that's outstanding. The flora is also a sight to behold. So I think right now I want to introduce you to one of the uh, most important and famous tree in this country, which is this tree here. Okay. Uh, this tree is called Chengal. Uh, it's called Chengal. It's a Malay word. It doesn't have any English name because it's an endemic species. It can only be found here in Malay Peninsula. So this Chengal, of course, it has a scientific name. It's called the Neobalanocarpus hemiae. That's a scientific name for this tree. And here on this island, this is the one and only Chengal tree that we have. Okay. And uh, this tree, the wood is so strong, so durable. It's been used outdoor for so many purposes. I mean, buildings, uh, railroad, railroad sleepers and all that. And if you use it outdoor, it can last several hundred years. And here on this island, I'm the one who planted this here on this island in 2007. And uh, after about five years, they only grow this much. They grow very slow. And uh, this tree here to grow to a very big size like that one over there, uh, that tree over there, a uh, huge, big size tree, easily take 100 years. So I guess even I, myself, have no chance to see my tree grow to a very big size. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and we find ourselves bidding goodbye to this wonderful and luxurious island paradise. Still here? Well, like you, we just can't stop looking at this beautiful place. As a short encore, we'll leave you with some of our favourite views of Pankor Lout. Don't forget that you can read about all of the latest luxury news on luxuriousmagazine.com and can read the magazine for free on luxuriousmagazine.net. Thank you for watching this episode of the Luxurious Magazine Luxury Travel Show.